Today we will learn how to configure an app services web app as a multi-tenant application. So for that we need to first create a resource group. So we'll click on resource group and we see that we already have a resource group created in the East US location. So we will use that. We'll click on the search bar and go to Azure Active Directory. And here we will first register an app. So under manage, we will scroll down a little and we will click on app registration. Once we are there, we will click on new registration and give this app registration a name, which is demo app ATCSL. Now, once that is done, we have supported account types. So we have the option to choose between single tenant, multi tenant, and then we also have a multi tenant with accounts in any organizational directory, which is Azure Active Directory, multi tenant, and personal Microsoft account. Example Skype and Xbox can be configured. So we will choose that and we'll scroll down for the redirect URI. This is optional and we will configure it later. So I'll leave it as it is and click on the register button. It will take a couple of seconds and the app will be registered. So here we have all the details for the new app that is registered. We have the application ID, which is a client ID along with the object ID and the directory tenant ID. Now application or the client ID is the one that we will need along with the directory and the tenant ID while configuring the authentication for the app services web app. So we will copy the application ID from here and then we'll go and create the app services. But we need to create an app service plan first. So we can do it from within the app services. But let me go back and create an app service plan directly and then come back and then create the app services web app. So once I'm there, I'll click on create. I'll choose the resource group as ATCSL. I'll scroll down for the app service plan details. I will give it a name, which is app ATCSL. For the operating system, I can choose between Linux and Windows. I'll choose Windows and from the region, I'll choose as East US because that is the region where I have my resource group. For the SQ size, I'll leave it at default and then click on review and create. And after validation, I'll click on create again. We will wait for the implementation to be completed. And once this is done, then we will move back to the app services to create a new app services web app. So I'll pause the video and return back after the deployment is complete. Now that this is done, we need to go back to the app services. So I'll click on the search bar and then click on app services. Here I need to click on create. Again, from the resource group, I'll choose ATCSL. In the instance detail, I'll give it a name, which is demo app multi-tenant and the complete URL will be demo app multi-tenant dot Azure websites dot net. So for publish, I'll keep it as code for the runtime stack. I'll choose ASP.NET 4.8. I chose the operating system as windows and for region again, East US. If you look here, the windows plan within East US is already by default chosen as app ATCSL. So I'll click on review and create nothing more to configure. And after validation, I'll click on create again. Again, this is going to take a couple of minutes. So I'll pause the video and return back after the deployment is over. So here we are. The app services web app has been deployed. So we'll go to resource and here you can see the URL and other details for the newly created app services web app. So if you see on the right hand side, the URL says demo app multi tenant dot Azure websites dot net. We can click on it and it will open the default page for us. So this is done. Now what we are going to do is we'll scroll down to settings. We'll configure the authentication to have this app services web app as a multi tenant application. So we will choose the identity provider. We want to keep it to Azure Active Directory. So we'll choose the first option Microsoft. Now we have the app registration. We can either create a new app registration from here, but since I already registered the app, I can pick an existing app registration in the directory or provide the details of an existing app registration. I'll choose the second option and under the name or app, I'll choose the demo app ATCSL, the name of the application that I had registered earlier. 
the issuer url will be filled by default it has https colon slash sts.windows.net along with the guid and this guid is nothing but the tenant id so for now what i'm going to do is remove the issuer url as this is not a mandatory field and we will look at it later now if we scroll down we have the app service authentication settings we'll choose require authentication for restrict access and we will leave the unauthenticated requests to its default once done we'll click on add and it will hardly take a couple of seconds and the authentication will be established now this is done let's go back to the identity provider so i'll click on edit here and if you look here client secret setting name this was not asked but it has automatically configured for us it says the client secret setting name which is the name of the application setting in which we have the client secret so it is microsoft provider authentication secret and if you see here the issuer url i had already removed but by default it appears again so it has been configured by default for us we will go back to the application and click on the configuration under settings and here under application settings we see the same name which is microsoft provider authentication and it has a certain value so this client secret for the application was configured during the app services configuration i will go back to azure ad click on app registration and then select the demo app etcsl that we had created earlier and from under manage i'll click on authentication here i need to add a platform so depending on the platform or a device this application is targeting additional configuration may be required such as the redirect uri is what it says so i'll click on add a platform and then select web now here i need to give the redirect uri redirect uris are the uris where the authentication responses are redirected after successful authentication so we need to go back to the app service copy the uri from there and then paste it under the redirect uri because this is where the requests will be routed after successful authentication so we'll paste it here under implicit grant and hybrid flow we are just going to choose id tokens because this is not a single page application and this also does not invoke a web api via javascript so we just need the id tokens we'll select that and then we'll click on configure now this is successfully done and now we have told the app that this is the url where it will be redirected after successful authentication now if i click on certificates and secrets you will see the magic under the description you will see generated by app service and the value is the same as was automatically configured as the client secret for the application under application settings so if we go back to the app service click on configuration there under microsoft provider authentication secret you will see the same value i will click on cancel and go back if we click on token configuration it is additional tokens if it is needed for, but for the demo purposes we are not going to do it if we click on api permissions under microsoft graph you will see user dot read because behind the scenes microsoft graph apis for azure active directory will be invoked for authentication authorization purposes if we click on expose an api this is used if your application is working as an api and is multi facing so if other applications are talking to this application then it is required so for the demo purposes this is not needed we'll go back to the app services web app copy the url i'll open a browser in the incognito mode and paste the url and hit enter and you will see that a different user is getting authorized so here we have neeraj at etcsl.onmicrosoft.com whereas previously we had configured the application under aquila concept domain so if we hover over the name it will show the domain as aquila concept.com whereas now in the incognito mode we are entering a different domain which is etcsl.onmicrosoft.com and here it is asking for a consent it says that this application is not published by microsoft or your organization do you want to accept or deny 
we will click on accept but here is the error it says that the reply url specified does not match the reply urls configured for the application why is that so so we'll go to authentication first and there if you see under redirect uris the base uri is correct which is demo app multitenant.azurewebsites.net but after that i need to open slash dot auth slash login slash aad slash callback and basically this is the azure active directory authorization url that is invoked now as this is done i'll click on save and then go back to the incognito window paste the url of the application and hit enter it will ask me for the username and password again so i'll enter the username i'll enter password and sign in it will confirm since the consent was already given it's not asking me for the consent again and voila the application opens from another tenant so this is how you configure the app services web app as a multi tenant application thank you so much for joining this session i hope you learned something new and if you do like the video please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that i can bring more such informative videos for you until we meet next time keep assuring